Hey, I'm Stacy and this is Cherry and we're here today to give you a little demo and a little bit of information about self-awareness. We're going to talk about the importance of self-awareness and I'm going to use Cherry here to help us demonstrate why it's so important and what a big difference it can make on your interactions with others. Self-awareness is really one of the key principles of my teachings in regards to how you can achieve what you want out of life and improve your communications with others. Self-awareness is a state of mindfulness where you're really focused on your body, your energy, and your thought process. It's really about understanding your presence so that you can master the presence you want to have in your own life and when working with others. So we're going to use today to do a little demonstration with the horse to show you how they can help you be aware of what's really going on with yourself. The reason it works with horses is because horses are herd animals and they're always looking to their leader to help them feel safe and keep them alive. They are prey animals and so in the wild they really do need a strong, calm, confident leader to survive. Um, in the wild and in domesticated situations, horses do communicate primarily through body language. There's not a lot of noise that they use. So she's really going to be looking to me with my body language and also with my energy to understand what I'm asking of her. So without further ado, we're going to go out and start a little walking exercise where really the focus is going to be on me using my energy and my thoughts with how I want her to move to see if she can keep up with me and understand what I'm asking. If she's not understanding what I'm asking, then I know at that time that I'm not projecting the energy that I want to and I don't have the presence I want to. And that's where the exercise of mindfulness and self-awareness comes in. And you start to say to yourself, am I really focused on what I'm trying to do? Is my energy really in the right place? Or am I feeling nervous or rushed or frustrated? Is my body language projecting what I would like her to understand? And to really stay focused again with your train of thought. So we're gonna go out. I'm gonna talk you through it as we do a little walking. All right, Cherry, here we go. next to my shoulder with me having a very loose rein. Now, if I'm not focused, the horse will not know where I want her to go. But if I stay focused, I can turn and stop and she comes with me. If I want to go the other direction, her feet move with me. If I want to go backwards, which is not the ideal pattern of movement for a horse. I wait, I think back, I wait for the horse. I'm not being clear with my energy and my thoughts. Now, you can see a subtle change in body language, just turning the direction of my body for the horse means a lot. When you're working with people, it's the same thing. If you're not getting the reaction you want from the energy and the direction that you're using, you need to think of approaching it in a different manner. So let me back her a little bit more. Okay. And then we're gonna practice the forward walk. We're gonna see if I can change my pace and the horse will keep up with me. So she's a little distracted. We've got birds in the sky. And that's another thing that's great working with horses. They're always aware of what's going on around them. And so it's our job to help them feel calm and confident and not be worried about what's going on outside of our focus. Ready, Cherry? So if I'm walking, if I want to speed up, I think about my energy picking up. And there she comes with me. Again. Walking, pick up the energy, flow the energy, turn the energy. And now I want to have a 
circle very slow and then pick it up a little bit. Okay, so that's just a brief demo of some things you can do with the horse to really improve your self-awareness. These exercises are awesome to do in person. You can't necessarily understand it completely if you're watching it on a video, but I wanted to give you a little taste of what's out there and some of the things and work that I do with horses and with people to help improve your self-awareness.